I feel like we are at a fork in the road on this planet. And we've been hoodwinked. Stay tuned for the Veda Wave today. We've been hoodwinked, or most of humanity all over the world has been hoodwinked by a couple things. One is that we can rely on fast food, junk food, chemicals, um, ex uh, um, refined foods with added man-made vitamins added back in, um, overly uh, using herbicides, pesticides, unnatural ways of eating. And uh, also in the same way, unnatural ways of taking care of our health with medicines. So we've gone from herbs, natural things grown in the earth, and we've gone from food grown in the earth, naturally, organically, healthfully, with healthy soil, to believing that putting anything in our body is okay. Um, and the, system, the way that works is that we put anything in our body and then we take a drug or a chemical to offset the negatives of those things that we put in our bodies. This has been going on for a long time now. And we're at a fork where if we continue, we're gonna start relying on AI, more pharmaceuticals and fake food as a way to survive. And, you know, we're being sort of told by some that this is sort of the wave of the future. This is how it has to be in order for the, you know, for enough food to be uh, given to the whole planet, to fulfill the needs of the whole planet. But there are some great farmers, scientists, who are looking at things very differently. We do need a change, and there has to be a big change in the way that we mass produce uh, food. So that's the Veda Wave for today. Think about it. And one of the best things we can do is support our local farmers and um, start really thinking about eating real food only and give up the, the fake, uh, you know, dead food that we've been, that many people have been eating for many years, perhaps not you, but um, we're at a fork in the road and in, unless we, a large part of the population wakes up to this, we're going AI and pharmaceutical and fake food and that's what many leaders in the world right now want. So we have to uh, get clear on what's actually best for us. That's the day for today.